गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्ते नमस्ते कुमार भैया नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते एवरीवन सो दिस इज द असाइनमेंट दैट वी हैव टेकन यस्टरडे एट एनी टाइम कन्वीनिएंट टू यू इन एनी बॉडी पोस्चर कन्वीनिएंट एंड कंफर्टेबल फॉर यू ऑब्जर्व योर इमेजिनेशन पर्टिकुलरली द फीलिंग इन द इमेजिनेशन फॉर अबाउट हाफ एन आवर ऑब्जर्व इट एज इट इज विदाउट ट्राइंग टू जज इट इवेल्युएट इट स्टॉप इट और चेंज इट जस्ट ऑब्जर्व विदाउट एनी शॉर्ट ऑफ रिएक्शन no down your observations we'll discuss them so this is the assignment that we had taken yesterday so we are doing exercise 1 the exercise 1 we are trying to observe the self by the self and essentially if you see we are trying to observe three realities the consciousness the material and the uh, coexistence the self is the consciousness an example of material is the body So in exercise two, we are going to observe the body, and exercise three is basically meant for observing the coexistence. Now in all exercise one, while observing the self, the consciousness is observing the consciousness, and we had just begun this. Before going into exercise one, we took an introduction to the exercises where we could see that we want happiness to be our innate nature and not an external influence. and we can see that to have happiness as a innate nature we need to ensure right understanding right feeling right thought in the self for which we have to awaken to the activities of contemplation understanding and realization with this we are trying to observe the consciousness that is the self if any question is there regarding the assignment that we have taken yesterday i can take up and then we can discuss further hello bhaiya namaste regarding the exercise i observed my object of imagination and i directly went for the feeling and the feeling after that i went to see uh, whether it is naturally acceptable to me or not yes i found that yes naturally acceptable then i went for the whether i am comfortable or not that is am i in harmony a relationship or not so in that process many thoughts came and went uh, so while observing the one thought and going proceeding towards the different steps in exercise 1 i found immediately another thought i am in a confusion that what to do with the first thought and with the next thought like that within the 30 minutes i adjusted the alarm according that and within that 30 minutes time at 10 times i have changed my posture and i could hardly sit for 25 minutes only and then i had to go for um, urinal and again i sat for the rest of the time to make it 30 minutes so thoughts are coming and going and so i should i forget that or i should retain that so that is a dilemma in which i, I am there so that is my sharing and question also yeah so the issue is not of retaining or losing any thought the issue is of ensuring that the thought is in line with our natural acceptance so as we discussed yesterday with you so presently you are able to observe the thought now i have to observe the feeling guiding the thought what is my feeling guiding my thought if i am able to make out that feeling then i can evaluate that feeling and then try to transform that feeling so it's nice that you are doing the effort consistently but only that we have uh, got to see the feeling and not only the thought in our imagination yeah i am directly seeing the feeling and is it that in the fifth step where the on the basis of what i am uh, deciding something or i am seeing the thought so in that case it is is it required <clears throat> that i should know desire thought and expectation differently is it like that leave it for now if you are not able to okay. see it leave it for now yes if you are able to see the feeling right and then you are able to evaluate the feeling rightly and then able to look into the underlying assumption behind the feeling then you can go for 
transforming the filling. You will see that in that process, the waste is taken care of. The issue is basically awakened to the activity of contemplation, understanding, realization. Now, for awakening to the activity of contemplation, I need to see the naturally acceptable feeling. Yeah. So yeah. When I go to sit directly yeah. and I'm not aware of my current state, then it may be case that I am trying to impose something upon me, assuming it to be the naturally acceptable feeling, and I'm not able to transform my current state. So that's how we are saying that first of all observe your feeling that you have at this moment and then transform it. Nice, nice. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'll say is no that you have been joining the morning sessions. I think you joined in batch six, isn't it? And now this is batch ten. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. College? No, I am teaching in psychology and high tech medical college. Okay. Oh medical college. Yeah. So there is no UHD course there in the college? No, no. No. And they, I have failed in I have failed with convincing them. Gee. And uh, and these days I am taking only the online classes. I am not going physically there. That's another oh, problem. Okay, okay. No, then you can like this opportunity. If you have to take only the online classes, you can get in yeah. touch with Tara Bhaiya and Dilip Bhaiya and see how you yeah. can participate in so many activities. That will help you further to observe your feeling because, see, our feeling is related to participation, be it in the family or in the organization, the society. So once I start mm. participating, it comes naturally to me. If I do not participate, then mostly I am restricted to my thoughts. Yes, yes. So we'll discuss yes. about this. We can discuss yeah. with Tara here. If you can yes, join there. some projects and regular activities, yeah. Yes, we are in touch. They are constantly motivating me, but it has not uh, been translated to activity. In you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> so you have to feel motivated now. <laughs> to be active. <laughs> it has to translate into some activity. Otherwise, how will it work? Uh, Kumar Bhaiya, can I say something? G, G. Uh, Bhaiya, as uh, the person is good at psychology, so if the psychology project is going on, uh, he uh, once expressed his interest about that, so that we can connect with the team. If, who is working on yes. psychology? That's we are developing a course on psychology, Bhia. You can join us in that project and work uh, and guide us, I'll say. Yes. No, no, no. I'm not that, <laughs> that level. But anyway, I'll try to contribute whatever known to me. Uh, so, how to do it? The, uh, the link or something, whatever, please do the needful. I'll discuss with you separately about this. Okay. <clears throat> How to go ahead about this. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Nice, Bija. Okay. So what we'll do? Now we'll go to the content part. So in step one, we are just trying to be aware of our imagination. So I am observing myself. So you have to be aware of yourself. And a simple way is to be aware of your imagination. In one A, we are saying that try and observe your imagination. Try and observe the desire, thought, and expectation in your imagination. And the outcome could be, I'm observing the self by the self. I'm observing my imagination, that is my desire, or so to say, feeling, thought, and expectation at this moment. So there are some challenges here when people go to observe. First of all, they are not able to observe the whole imagination uh, at a time. Secondly, in the imagination, we are not able to observe the desire, the thought, expectation separately. Thirdly, mostly we are not able to observe the feeling at the level of desire. So as Devi Ji is mentioning <clears throat> that is it necessary to observe desire, thought, expectation separately. So if you observe, that's better. But maybe when you start observing, you are not able to distinguish. So in step one, we will see that we need to do like prepare ourselves so that we are able to observe the imagination rightly. So some preparation is required. So what we are discussing yesterday and day before is that you can start by observing the object of imagination, the point of attention. 
where you are paying attention to. So try to make it out. Do it consistently for 15, 20 days, 30 days. You know? First of all, try to make out where you are paying attention. That may take time. If you are able to do it simply, then well and good. Very nice. Can I be aware of my object of imagination every moment? What I am imagining about? So maybe you are able to get it with some effort. Then you can see the feeling underlying that object of imagination. With what feeling you selected that object? How you are analyzing about that object of imagination? Try to see the feeling. So the selection that you have made about that object of imagination is your expectation. The way you are analyzing it, comparing it, is your thought. And the feeling part with that object is your desire. So that's how I can make out. For every object of imagination, I can make out the desire, thought, and expectation. So we took multiple examples. Let me take another example this time. Maybe you start paying attention. The assignment was saying that you sit for half an hour and try to observe it. You start paying attention. So in your imagination, maybe your college comes that yes, I'm paying attention to my college. In my college, there I have a boss with whom I interacted yesterday. But the interaction was not very healthy. So from the college, your migrate your imagination migrated to your boss, your the superior. Then from there, since the conversation was taking place about some incident, about teaching in the class, your imagination shifted to the classroom. In the classroom, maybe some student had complained, for example. The only imagination shifted to that student. Then from there, the student, your attention shifted to some incident that has happened with the student. Maybe the student came late in the class and you asked the child not to enter the class. Right? So you got reminded of that situation. From there, you got reminded of the moment when you had instructed to the class that everybody should be on time or you will not allow the entry in the class. And you can see how your imagination is shifting. Right? Now, with every object of imagination, you are getting some taste of expectation, taste of feeling. So when the interaction was not very healthy with your superior, you know, you are not having a very healthy discussion. Right, so you are having a taste of feeling, which is not a good taste. So some testing is taking place. You are not feeling comfortable. And what was the feeling in you <clears throat> at that time? It was relationship or opposition. You can try to make it out. So in step one, we are just saying that observe. You know, no need to evaluate as good or bad. But this is the way I can make out my feeling. So when I am interacting with my boss, I have some feeling in me. Whether it is relationship or opposition. And the way I am analyzing the whole situation, the imagination is shifting from one object to another. This is my thought. And I am getting a taste every time when I get reminded of some person. My boss, I have some kind of taste of feeling. With the student, I have some kind of taste of feeling. With my subordinate, I have some kind of taste of feeling. With my peer group, I have some taste of feeling. So this is the way I can observe within me. If you are able to do this, then you can be able to go further also. So we started by observing the object of imagination. And from there, I could make out the feeling, the thought, the expectation. So observe the imagination going on within you at this moment <clears throat> of time, just as it is, without evaluating it, without reacting to it, without trying to stop it, without trying to change it. Right? In 1B, we are saying that if you are not able to see your imagination directly, then you may begin with observing your thought. If you are able to see your thoughts, try to see the desire, the feeling behind it. Ultimately, we have to see the complete imagination. So try to observe your desire, feeling, thought and expectation going on in your imagination. In particular, focus on your desire, that is feeling. Observe the imagination going on within you at this point of time, just as they are without evaluating them, without reacting to them, without trying to stop them, without trying to change them each moment. This is a very simple but very important step. And then you can note down your observation in your journal. So what we'll do, we'll do this exercise for 
five to seven minutes and then we can reflect upon this we can share our observation if any question is there we can discuss the questions also for the next five to seven minutes we are going to observe and let us try to do it as it is mentioned here okay, without any reaction without any effort to stop them or change them or impose something or evaluate it just as i am just as i am observe myself i have to observe myself just as i am because this is the way my awakening nice so we'll observe it and then discuss i'll not take up any question or reflection for the next five to seven minutes nice any observation any reflection to share or anything to discuss Anji uh, Bhaiya, Namaste. Uh, so as uh, this exercise we, I was doing, so uh, like when I was trying to observe myself, so a lot of imaginations were just cropping up. Like uh, sometimes uh, the things that you just said, Devi Prasanna Bhaiya's discussion, so those went. And again, uh, all of a sudden it came that as if, uh, you know, that how do I manage time? I have to go within this time. So I should be in a hurry. So all this kind of, uh, you know, there was a sort of a just a position of uh, so many thoughts. But then again, I realized uh, that uh, everything has uh, to be done. And so I was just trying to uh, see my inner uh, thoughts. So I could really see that so many things are cropping up at a particular time. Because uh, I feel that I have to do this kind of a thing. I have to, again, uh, in the college premises, these are the things that I'm expected to do today. And deadlines are also to be met today. So, uh, so many things were coming. So, uh, I really felt that it is a, uh, a task which is actually needs a lot of uh, you know, uh, a sort of a very uh, balanced uh, sort of a mind and, uh, you know, you have to have a lot of uh, coordination between your mind, uh, uh, between yourself uh, uh, when you are uh, trying to observe yourself because uh, really uh, I did not, uh, I always have this feeling that yes, I can observe and I can have this uh, kind of a, you know, a peaceful kind of a thought process but when it comes and particularly in the morning hours, I'm always in a kind of a, you know, hurried way. So some uh, hurried syndrome that goes on in my mind but yeah that's what I could observe and it's uh, something that which is very much uh, prevalent uh, now at this moment I can see yes Didi nice observation so one solution to this could be like when you sit for observation during the morning then you can sit with a pen and paper and you can just jot down whatever occurs to you as your responsibility or your commitment today so if you want Jot, jot it down then you will find that after some time you are not feeling compelled to think about it any further because you have noted and then you will be in a different state because initially there will be a rush of so many thoughts of your responsibility or commitments during the day but once you are able to note it down for the first two or three minutes it will happen then maybe something will just spring up from somewhere because you got reminded of something but that kind of rush will not be there. So this is something doable. You do it in the beginning and then you will be in a better and comfortable state to observe your feeling. Because when there is a rush of thoughts like this, you are not able to observe the feeling. The feeling is there. Like the feeling of commitment is there. That's how you are feeling that I should be you know, doing all these things during the day. The feeling is there. But maybe you are not able to observe the feeling. But if you just note it down and then try to observe you would be in a more comfortable state to observe your feeling and then further going, you can observe your assumptions within. So you can begin from here. Right, Paya, right. Very true. Thank you so much, Paya. Namaste. Ji, namaste. Uh, namaste, Paya. Namaste to all my co-explorers. Paya, uh, uh, since long uh, I am doing this exercise, not only now, but uh, what I have observed is uh, I could be able to observe my feelings, but uh, Without uh, uh, having some uh, response or rea reaction, uh, I am unable. Some situations, if I uh, re my uh, mind uh, recollects some situations with the people who are uh, misutilized, uh, are uh, talking about uh, favor uh, from their side, favorable uh, way and. Uh, uh, not uh, at all bothered about difficulties uh, for me. If I try to help them, they are always try to take the help, but uh, they are always uh, 
uh, thinking about uh, in favor to them and not at all bother about uh, any situation difficult for me to uh, so some situations happened in the past okay so i my mind recollecting those situations and uh, i am unable to stay calm and cool while uh, having uh, my feelings and uh, I, even though physically i am outside uh, i i myself appear uh, cool but uh, inside uh, something disturbance uh, what i have observed some situations okay some situation like this uh, it is not uh, possible difficult for me to uh, stay uh, calm and stable in, from inner core so are you able to observe the feeling or not yes yes i am able to observe feeling but i am unable to observe only pure as like uh, observe only feelings and don't react don't uh, uh, such kind of uh, Okay, okay. Are possible for me. That is I'm okay. Saying. Fine. Then we have to try for that. Yes. Yes. So that yes. I can observe my feeling without any reaction. Yeah. The moment yeah, I start is... reacting, yeah. The moment I start reacting, I am not able to see the active state of mind. Nice, Bhaiya. Bhaiya. Good morning, Bhaiya. Uh, I could able to see the feeling uh, of mind and uh, this. without evaluating and without reacting or trying to stop them that is somewhat difficult for me so the moment i see there is an uncomfortable feeling like uh, thinking about the task to complete or uh, there is uncomfortable feeling in me also the thoughts related to the task to be completed but the moment i see i try to evaluate or to react to them this uh, without evaluation reacting or trying to stop them or change them is difficult for me so maybe how can i improve this one without reaction or without evaluating the uh, feeling and thought i need more clarity by accepting, by accepting your current state accepting your current state. okay yes bhai yes are yes. you Yeah, today also during the uh, like the, the, the this five minutes time period, random thoughts were coming to my mind. I was feeling that from last many years, I uh, la- sorry, from last many days, whenever I was trying to sit in a uh, meditation or in uh, just calm state, you know, so I lo- I was disturbed. So a lot of uh, points of tension were coming out. That what is this problem? What is that problem? And what will be the solution? And I was looking for the solution, and automatically some solutions were coming. But today, after so many days, I really felt that random thoughts are all the random thoughts are coming. But I was calm, and uh, I uh, I try to see the desire, and I was feeling that there is no desire uh, behind those uh, thoughts. Only random thoughts are coming, and I'm just watching that. I was able to differentiate myself from those thoughts. This is my observation for today. Okay, so yes. when the thoughts were random, just try to see: were you comfortable or uncomfortable? Yes, I was comfortable today. I was calm. There was no rush. There was no tension, and I was not looking for any kind of solu- uh, solution. And normal things were coming to my mind uh, that this is happening. Okay, I'll do this. I'll do that. But there was no rush. Nice. So see, when you are just observing that you have to do certain things, you are observing your selections. Yes. Now you have to also see how you came to this conclusion. That is your thought. That you have to do this. You must have analyzed and compared within. Then you can go further to see what is the feeling with which you are trying to decide things. So maybe you have some thought of uh, cooking for your children, then preparing for the college, then going and submitting your assignment, and then participating in some NAC activity, for example. Yes. So these are selections that you have made. Hmm. you must have analyzed something for example i have to be on a job and i am going to be responsible in my job so to fulfill my responsibility i need to do all this i have to take care of my family also because i am responsible in my family i have hmm. to do this in my college because i am responsible to my college so this kind of thought is there so what is the feeling here the feeling is of responsibility okay, okay yeah so if you look into the purpose of the thought you are able to make out the feeling why you are trying to do something for the family why you are trying to do something for the college why you are trying to do something for the health ask that question why if you look into the purpose then you can get down to the feeling 
Okay. Okay. So when you are just trying to look into things that I have to do during the day, that is only at the level of expectation because I have made some selections for me. Okay. Yeah. Then you have to see how did I come to this conclusion? This how part is the thought, and why part, the purpose is the feeling. Okay. Yes. So yes. But then also do it. Like uh, some meticulously by noting down in your copy, and then <laughs> trying to observe and analyze. You know. So one thing that I am feeling, no. So when you make out the object of imagination, then you can try to go back to that object of imagination and see that, what feeling you had when you were thinking about this person. Maybe you are thinking about the spouse. So what feeling you have? You are thinking about a child. What feeling you have? You are thinking about your boss, your subordinate, your peer group, your students, your neighbor. So try to make out. Maybe you are not able to do during that moment of time. Then hmm. you can do it further later, sometimes. Okay. Yes. yes. And you say we will also see that my feeling changes with time also. So for my spouse, you know, when he is acting favorably, I have one kind of feeling. When he is not acting favorably, I have another kind of feeling. Same with the child, same with the sub boss, same with the subordinate, same with the peer group, and my feeling keeps on going up or down. You know, or my feeling keeps on changing from time to time. Yes. And that is where I have to look into my sanskars or my assumptions, which are guiding and guiding my feeling, and then try to transform them, evaluate them. That will do something. Try to transform them. But simply, I just have to observe. What is going on in me? So maybe I am observing only at the level of expectation by making a to-do list. That is only at the level of. Then how did I come to this conclusion? Is the thought part, and why is the feeling part? Okay. Yes. Thank you, Bhaiya. Thank you so much. Uh, namaste, Bhaiya. Uh, Bhaiya, actually. Um, uh... I wanted to uh, make uh, coffee in the morning, but I woke up after, I mean, uh, just at 5.30 only. So if I go to the kitchen, um, the I will not get the range. That is the only place I don't get the range in my house. So when you told five minutes, I thought that I'll go and make the coffee. Then in the process, I was knowing why I could have made it early so that I could have sat and observed my feeling. But then it is told, no, even when you're doing an activity, you can observe it. So uh, I totally concentrated on making it. And then I saw uh, I, I was pouring water in the uh, um, vessel. And then I could see, I observed how good water we are getting in Kerala. There is every time full 24 hours abundance. So I felt that, uh, what do you call that prosperity, that... Uh, uh, of that we are getting that that uh, thankfulness came to my mind that uh, there are many places we don't get uh, that uh, in India we don't get water but we are getting very good water then I observed some plates over there uh, my son had uh, plates means some vessels my husband, son had come and eaten at night actually he came little late so I observed he has washed his plate which is taking the uh, food but he has not washed the um, vessels which uh, he where the sabji and all is kept and then I was thinking like I should uh, I just got an opposition feeling for him that time uh, then I thought that I should tell him like he should wash uh, those things also uh, so those were that thing uh, that came then I thought that next day onwards I should and if I have to go to the kitchen, I should get early and do the things. Uh, so that feel that thought also uh, came to my mind. And till now also I'm feeling uh, sometimes uh, why I'm not doing uh, things at the correct time. Uh, I woke up at 5. Again, I went to sleep. Then only at 5.30 I uh, woke up. So those thoughts uh, went. And I was feeling a little, um, uh, what you call a negative feeling towards me also. I'm not keeping the time. That's it, Baya. Nice, Didi. But you can also observe why the coffee at this point of time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there is also a feeling there. Now when I'm uh, opting for the coffee, so some feeling is there. Yeah, nice. Nice, Didi. So I can observe my feeling at every point of time. And then I can be able to make out the difference between my feeling, my thought, and my selections. The selection part is the expectation. 
the analyzing part, comparing part is the thought, and the feeling part is there at the level of desire. See, the more we become observant of our imagination, the more guided our imagination is. Otherwise, it remains as random. So nice, nice as Priyadidi was sharing. So she was able to uh, observe so many things. Nice. Namaste, Bhaiya. Uh, the session was really great. Uh, you know, I could have some self reflection also. I know I could see that, you know, I have to understand that uh, having uh, right expectations, I do not say it is the wrong people. Maybe people, you know, who have lesser understanding is also not right from my end. That was the self. So that uh, leads to uh, at times uh, certain. Uh, um, uh, feeling of, um, you know, that um, bad feeling, I can say, rather, rather bitter feeling. And uh, coming to today, thank you, Bhaiya, thanks for that. And um, coming to today's session, so while I was just going through, I could uh, see that, you know, my thoughts jump from college and college, uh, God's grace, things are going well. But it came home and there, you know, it went to my mother-in-law. And every day she makes fuss in, I, she neither allows me to cook nor she does. So there is a conflict always. Every day she asks whether I have to make breakfast or make lunch, like that. So I was thinking, you know, that led to a feel of, uh, you know, bitterness or sadness. Uh, I'm allowing her to do not just because I cannot do. It is, you know, it is a respect. I feel that, you know, she'll be more active and she'll be engaged. And she will have the freedom to do whatever she wants. That is the feeling I have. So my feeling went like she's not able to understand the feeling I have towards her. So that led to some sort of bitterness. So that's it. Yeah. yeah so this is something that you're analyzing. So what is the feeling within? Is it relationship or opposition? That it is was, something you that... know, the relationship which is not understood and has become opposition-like. Yes. So observe it. Observe it from moment to moment, you know. What is the feeling? So at some point of time, I have the feeling of relationship. She's old. I should be doing so much for her. And then I feel that she's not accepting. She's not evaluating me rightly. And then I start feeling opposed. That at this age, I don't know what to do you know, for her. And then you again have some feeling of relationship. So some kind of the up and down, you know, oscillation kind of thing would might also be taking place inside exactly. you. Yeah. Exactly. So observe it. Yes. Observe it. Nice, Didi. Very nice. Sharing's coming up, I'll say. Quite from our practical life, our day-to-day -day life. Nice. So, step one is a very simple but very important step. It is simple because imagination is going on continuously. The capacity to observe is something inherent in me. And I just have to take the decision to pay the attention and observe. It is important because my happiness, unhappiness at this moment depends on my feelings, thought at this moment, depends on my imagination at this moment. For example, if I have the feeling, if I have the thought of competition or the feeling of opposition, I am unhappy. If I have the thought of care and affection, feeling of relationship, I am happy. So you see that my happiness or unhappiness is basically dependent on my feeling, my thought. Isn't it? The happiness is inside, the unhappiness is also inside. Whatever is happening in the outside world is outside me. I am reflecting upon that. I am taking it in some way or the other. Right? And then I am building up some feeling or modifying my feeling within. You'll see further that this is your own decision. So ultimately, things are happening, so many things are happening outside. I am taking that information inside and then I am getting affected. Right? Or when I'm looking within also, I'm reminded of so many things. And sometimes I feel happy, sometimes unhappy, sometimes comfortable, sometimes uncomfortable. So we have to see by myself, am I comfortable? This is something that we are trying to observe. Right? Maybe for most of the time during the day, I'm interacting either with human beings or the rest of the nature. Okay, I'm doing so many things. I'm quite busy. So, am I at peace with myself? Am I participating with happiness inside or am I looking for happiness outside? So, these are pertinent issues. So, you'll see that since I am the observer and I am the observed, isn't it? When the self is observing the self, 
So I am the observer. I am the observer. So it's only my decision to observe me. So it's very simple. One may say that what is the problem here? You are the observer, and and you have to observe yourself. So what is the problem? So it is very simple in some sense, but but it may become difficult if I am not able to see the priority of it. I may feel that oh, I have to do so many things during the day. Where is the time to observe myself? And what will this observation lead to? Okay, it is not going to fulfill the needs of my family. It is not going to serve any responsibility in my college. So what is the what is going to be the purpose behind all this? But the issue is that if I start doing it proactively. Then only I am able to go. I am only able to fulfill my responsibilities properly. If I am not able to do this you know, rightly, then I am not able to even fulfill my responsibilities in the family, in the institution, whatever. So it is simple, but it is very important. Within myself, the happiness or unhappiness is decided by my feeling, and my responsibilities, my commitments, my participation outside are also decided by my feeling. If my feeling is not accessible to me naturally, I get opposed, and maybe I create some scene outside, and then there will be repercussions of that situation for a long time, and I may have to face it. Maybe you got angry, shouted upon someone, used some profane language, for example, and the person filed a complaint, for example, and then the repercussion is there for a long time. You are struggling. If I was aware of my feeling, and I did not get angry. And I could respond with the feeling of relationship. That situation would not have come, but now that it has come, and you can see in the you know, society so many things happening. In the news, you get so many you know, uh, news of such incidences that people are reacting this way or that way, and then they are facing repercussions, isn't it? So it is so important. If my feeling is guided by right understanding, my conduct is going to be definite. And when conduct is definite, then I become much more efficient, effective, productive, right? Being happy within, I'm able to ensure happiness for others. But if not, then I am problem for myself. I myself am creating problems for myself. And you can recollect from your own life how, when you were not aware of a feeling or the feeling was not right and you reacted outside, how you created problems for yourself. So a simple but very important step, G. So there could be some common problems also in step one. For example, observing through the body. So I'm seeing the self directly. I'm seeing the imagination going on in the self directly, not through sensation. So when I'm seeing the self, I do not need the sensation also. I do not need to look outside. I'm looking inside, isn't it? In fact, when the pandemic was there and the lockdown was imposed, then there was a common saying in the society. That when you can't go outside, go inside. So we're trying to go inside, isn't it? So I can just give a comfortable position to my body, and I do not need to even use my sensation. I am there as a seer, right? I am there as a reality, and I have to observe myself. But yeah, I think uh, we are there in the first step, no? the first problem that we are mentioning. Yes. So I am seeing the self directly. I am seeing the imagination going on in the self directly. And not through sensation. So we are generally used to observe the world outside using the five senses: sound, touch, form, taste, or smell. So you may even try to see the self also through the senses. So, like a beginner may feel that the way I am trying to observe the things outside, everything is having some kind of form, right? Color, some property or something. The same way I am going to observe within. So people start looking for the form of the self to begin with. The self has a form, but it's only that I do not start by observing the form. The self will not have a color, <laughs> isn't it? It's not a physiochemical thing. So I may start by you know, assuming that I'm going to be visible the same way the world outside is visible to me, right? Some people may try to observe the self as some kind of sound. Some kind of you know, uh, special sound, right? So the way we are trying to look at things outside in a similar manner, we can try to see inside, and that becomes a hindrance. So we may even try to see the self also through the senses. That is a problem. We may try to 
seed shape or color or something like that. We pay attention to whatever you consider important. So we are accustomed to that. We are used to that. We are conditioned like that. So some people have shared that. I'm not able to observe it. And they are trying to observe the whole thing directly without trying to observe the imagination. They are trying to observe the cell as a unit to begin with. That is not going to work. And there also, when they imagine about a unit, they imagine about physiochemical things outside. So keep observing even this, that you are trying to see the shape or the color of the cell. Ultimately, we have to see the imagination going on in the cell. If your attention goes to something, do not react. Just keep your decision. Your attention will naturally come back to your imagination. So when your attention returns to your imagination, keep observing it. Is this relevant? Do you also face this kind of problem at times that you are trying to observe the self as a physiochemical object? The way a physiochemical object has a form or a color or something, I am trying to observe the same way for the self. So that will not work. But you can try to see that, yes, I am having this kind of assumption within and that's how I am not able to observe. So if you become aware, then you start observing again. So this is one common issue that has come through sharing. Okay, yeah. yeah. Attention goes outside. That is another problem. We pay attention to whatever we consider important. Till now, we may have been considering the world outside, the physical facility, the body, the sensations in the body, to be important. So we pay attention to the world outside. So keep observing wherever your attention is at this moment, even if it is on something outside. Keep your Keep with your decision to observe your imagination. When your attention returns to your imagination, keep observing it. When you see that you are important, your imagination is important, your feeling, thought is important, then your attention will also go to your imagination, your feeling. Now what is happening here? So when I'm paying attention to the world outside, then also I am paying attention within, basically the observation is taking place within, isn't it? But the object is something outside. There also, the issue is whether I am trying to observe at the level of expectation or I am able to observe the analysis part or I am able to observe the feeling part. So I will have some content of imagination, isn't it? And that will be something to do with the relationship, something to do with the order, either in the family or in the society, right? So I will observe something. There will be some object of imagination. So when the Attention is going outside, it means that the object of imagination is outside, fine. But I am limiting myself to the you know, incidences or the expectation part in that object. I am not able to see the feeling with which I am observing, the feeling with which my attention gets diverted to things outside. So the outside thing could be either some physical facility, the body, the sensation in the body. So you can be aware that, yes, I am paying attention. In exercise 2, we are going to observe the sensations in the body. Presently, we are trying to observe the feeling. But while you are also paying attention to the sensation, because the information is coming to you, you can see with what feeling I am observing this sensation also. With what feeling I am thinking about some physical facility. Yesterday, in the evening, you found that there is a scratch on the car. Okay, now that is coming to your imagination. So at that point of time, you are not so aware. You just caught up by that scratch. Now when you sit and you are reminded of that scratch in the car, so the attention goes to the car, something outside. But now my task is to observe the feeling with which I am getting reminded of that scratch. Maybe if I have a doubt that somebody in the neighborhood must have done it. Okay, So I have some kind of feeling of position for that person whosoever has done it. Or yesterday I was driving and somebody did not uh, take care and just scratched my car and I have some feeling for that person now a position or relationship I can observe it so even if I am reminded of something outside I can observe the feeling with which I am observing it so when you see that you are important your imagination is important your feeling your thought is important then your attention will go naturally to imagination your feeling so these are certain issues that have come up through interaction with the participants you also might have this kind of issue any sharing, any reflection, any question, the discussion that we had so far. So try also to observe how the imagination 
is being more and more clear to you how you are getting sharper in your imagination but first yeah. of all let me say that you have sent me a message and i'm yes. here to respond but uh, responding to questions through messaging becomes a little difficult at times so yeah please tell me the uh, but yeah this is the other question related with this slide when i okay. when i have a decision to observe my imagination and at moments if if it goes something outside even my imagination can be related with something outside na bhaiya yes so your imagination could be of something outside that is fine but okay. if i am limiting myself on, only to observing some incident or <clears throat> the shape and size and color of something outside then it is limited to expectation so the object of imagination will of course be something outside that is fine some relative some physiochemical thing but if i am not able to observe the feeling behind it then it becomes a problem ji when, when i want to check with the feelings of my imagination let's say that when, when i sat for this observation i had a thought about my husband so when i when i was having the object of attention as my husband i can see that whether i'm having a feeling of relationship or opposition with him at that particular moment isn't it bhaiya yeah but at this point of time i'll say that do not even judge whether it is relationship or uh, opposition at this point of time just see that you have some feeling for the husband isn't it okay and so then I... try to object further try to object further Oh, but i can do the same thing for the object outside na bhaiya yes yes so, so the object of imagination will be either something within you or something outside and okay. most of the time it is for some object outside the problem is that i am getting myself limited to that so for example i am getting some itching in my body and i am just getting aware of that itching i am not able to see the feeling with which i am selecting to observe the itching okay. or i am reminded of husband so i am just observing and the way husband behaved with me yesterday or the way he is that's fine but i am not able to observe the feeling with which i am observing the husband okay so it's like the attention i am giving towards what matters the most i have to pay attention to the feelings behind my imagination yes. if if i may yes Yes. Okay, and the other thing which I text you is like I was not able to remember all the object of my attention after I get out of my observation period. I am not able to note it down because I forgot most of most of the things. Fine, fine. So whatever you can note down, you can note down at this point of time, and then going further, you will become more and more aware. Okay, Vaya. So you can see that you are able to recollect very easily. You are also able to recollect how your attention moved from one point to another. Okay, Vaya. Thank you so much. It is time now. 